There's a lot of things that need to change in Destiny 2, but today we're going to talk about new enemies, and we're going to start right now. What's up guys, Reckless here, welcome to Guardian Watcher. If it's your first time here and you love Destiny and learning all things about the game, then subscribe and click on the bell, that way you guys don't mess out on anything. So ever since September 9, 2014, which was the release of the original Destiny, aka D1, we have been fighting the same boring four species of enemy. The Fallen, Vex, the Cabal, and the Hive. Actually, if you got your hands on the Destiny Alpha, then you were one of the lucky ones to have a first look at the enemies in action. Technically, just the Fallen. Anyway, it's been four plus years since we have any new enemy species. Now, one could argue that the Taken and Seaver are new enemies, and to that, I would respectfully disagree. Most of the Taken are Hive, or that's where they derived from. Yes, we do have Taken Vex, Taken Cabal, and Taken Fallen, but in D1, most of the Taken came from a Hive body. Then again, what about the Fallen and Siva? Well, even then, the Fallen manipulated the Siva technology, splicing their bodies with machine parts. So technically that's not really a new enemy. Both the Taken and Siva Vi Fallen aren't really new enemies, but instead more so like a subclass of an enemy type that we already had in the game. Yes, both did have different movements from their original counterparts, and they did have new types of attacks, but in the end, they weren't a new enemy species. Prior to Destiny 2, most of us Guardians were hoping, no, we were praying for a new enemy species. Unfortunately, we were let down. Instead, we got the same old species we've been fighting for the last four years, but with upgrades. Bungie did make things a little interesting by moving some of the attacks from one enemy to another of the same type, and then adding new attacks. But even then, it's still not a new enemy. We could already tell from the trailers that the Curse of Osiris wasn't gonna have any new enemies, and that everything was going to be based on the Vex. So, the question that remains is, when will Bungie introduce new enemy species into the franchise? Well, at the end of the Red War campaign, when the Traveler awakens, we see the Traveler's light reach out into the galaxy, and it eventually touched triangular-shaped ships, God, say that three times, which in turn activated them, and then they started heading towards the origin of the light that touched them. Now, whether they're coming to Earth, we don't know. But, the technology that is shown from these ships have never been seen in Destiny history except through concept art. This could possibly be that ancient enemy that have been tracking the Traveler for so long. That enemy that may be called the Darkness, from which Bungie has yet to refer anything in Destiny 2 to yet. In Destiny 1, every enemy was considered the Darkness. About seven months ago, which is prior to the release of Destiny 2, Luke Smith was in an interview with Kutaku and confirmed that Bundy didn't actually know what the darkness was in the original Destiny. The darkness was a vague term used to describe all of the Destiny enemies and to make things easier, Bungie was going to remove any and all references of the darkness in Destiny 2. Luke Smith said, and I quote, and what we were doing with Destiny 2 is, we are deliberately telling a story about the light and what it means to be chosen. And as such, we're in the process of removing the term darkness from the game. Because when we're going to talk about darkness next, we need to know what it is and have a plan for it. And we do. End quote. Now, I will leave a link to that interview in the description below if you guys would like to check that out yourself. So this is completely speculation. And I want to say that those ships and the possible new enemies inside will be referred to as the darkness. It only makes sense. On the other hand, many people have speculated that a new enemy species will come with the next Destiny 2 expansion that is rumored to be called Gods of Mars. Now, I feel that this is unlikely to happen in an expansion. Expansions are really small, and I feel that a new enemy species is a huge deal in the Destiny franchise. So most likely, Bungie would wait for a huge Taken King or even bigger sized DLC to introduce new enemies like the one that we are supposed to get come fall 2018. That is, if Bungie follows the same roadmap that they have in the original Destiny, and so far they have been. 
Speaking of the roadmap, if you guys would like to know what I think about the Destiny 2 early 2018 roadmap, then you guys can click on the annotation at the top right of the screen or at the end of this video. I don't know. There are just a lot of things that could be speculated, but only Bungie knows what is really going on. Another question that arises is, even if we do get new enemies or new enemy species, will it be enough to make the player base come back to the game? That's huge, and that's, that's really, really important, especially right now, given that the Guardian count on a daily basis is probably at its lowest. Now, before you answer that question, mind you, prior to Fall 2018, there will be tons, I mean tons of updates to Destiny 2 in order to get it back where it should be, which is in the hands of the Guardians and not some money-hungry company. Activision. <clears throat> Excuse me. Now the roadmap only tells us what's gonna happen for the spring of 2018. That means we still have the summer and then the beginning of the fall for all of these updates to occur. So what do you guys think? Do you think that a new enemy species will come with the next expansion? Or do you agree with me and think that a new enemy species will come with a huge DLC drop? Either in the fall or sometime next year in 2019. Let me know in the comments below. And if you guys enjoyed this video, feel free to watch these other two Destiny videos. You never know, you just might like them. And if you do, leave a like, share them, and then come back for more, because you know you want to. Thank you guys for watching, and remember, less guns doesn't mean less crime. And I will see you guys next time.